Hey everyone, this is Steve. Today let's go through one lead code problem, 1726, tuple with the same product. Uh, let's take a look at the problem first. Given an array nums of distinct positive integers, return the number of tuples A, B, C, D such that A times B equals to C times D, where there are constraints of A, B, C, D. So the A, B, C, Ds are elements of nums and a doesn't equal to b doesn't equal to c doesn't equal to d so none of them are equal meaning they all of them are distinct all right so and all of the numbers given in this array they are all distinct positive numbers all right let's just take a look at one example two three four six all right the output is eight why eight because there are eight valid tuples let's take a look 2634. This is a valid tuple. Why is it valid? That is because 2 times 6 equals to 12, and 3 times 4 equals to 12 as well. So A, B, C, D. A times B equals to C times D. Both of them are 12, right? And then we can take a look at the rest, all the other seven tuples. So 2643. Still, it's the same two numbers, right? 2, 6, and 4, 3. But they permuted the number, they permuted the order. So it's a different permutation. So it's always 2, 6, 3, 4. It could be 3, 4, 2, 6, or 6, 2, 4, 3, right? You see permutation, 2, 6, 4, 3. So 3 and 4 order changed, or 6, 2. 6, 2 order changed, 3, 4 doesn't, didn't change. So you see, this is completely permutation. But all of them is the same two integers times times together. So they get the same product, it's 12. All right, a total eight valid tuples with, with two pairs, right? One pair is two and six, the other pair is three and four. But with only two pairs, we can form a total of eight valid tuples. So the output is eight, right? All right. And then let's take a look at the second one. The second one is given 1, 2, 4, 5, and 10. These five integers, the output is 16. Why 16? Because there are 16 valid tuples. So see here, this one, a, b times these two integers time, we get multiplied together, we get 10. And 2 and 5 times multiplied together, we get 10 as well. So a permutation of these two pairs, we get 8, right? We get eight tuples that's the first eight tuples the product is 10 and then we have a second product which is 20 2 times 10 is 20 4 times 5 is also 20 so another pair right another two pairs 2 10 4 5 we can have another seven tuples the permutations of this one right so a total of 16. so what can we undo from this observation the observation is that we can calculate, since all numbers in this given array are distinct positive integers, what we can do is that we can find all of the total distinct products, and then we can, we can use a hash map. So for the key of the hash map is going to be the distinct product. Then for the value of the hash map, we can store all of the frequencies, see how many pairs could form this could form to this product, right? And if the frequency of this particular product is more than one, that means at least there are two pairs, right? And then we can find all of the permutations, right? See, it basically comes down to, we have, say, uh, if there are two pairs, that's going to be C of two of two, right? So that is going to be, there is no way to type superscript and the subscript here. So this is basically a combination of two. They're, they're given two options. We'll just take two, right? And if there are three pairs that could form to the same product, say 24 or 48, there are a total of three pairs that could form to this product. Then what's the number of permutation? So that's going to be given three options. We'll pick two at a time. So how many permutations total? In this way, we just add up all of the total permutations when we go through. First, we form the hash map. Second, when we, after we formed the hash map, we'll just go through the hash map, take a look at its frequency. If it's greater than one, that means we have at least more than one pair. 
that could form to that could multiply to this product then we'll just calculate its its permutation then we add up all of the permutations by permutation we can simply calculate it by using a simple math yeah that's the idea so now let's put the idea into the actual code let's take a look right let me erase all of that so first we'll have a hash map integer both key and value out of type integer hash map and then we'll just go through this length i plus plus j plus one we'll just go use a master for loop to go through this uh, integer array and then we'll have product that is nums i times nums j and we'll just put this product into this get all default if it's the first time we get this one product default is zero otherwise we'll just increment the frequency right and then we'll have um, another variable this is the final count of total permutations and then we'll just go through so first with this nested for loop we have built out the hash map the key of the hash map again is going to be the distinct product right of every single pair that multiplied together what what is the product that is going to produce and then the value of the hash map is the frequency of how many pairs in this given integer array that could form that could be multiplied together to form this product with this hash map formed we can key set we can just go through so frequency map get key so we'll check if frequency is greater than one oops If it is greater than one, that means there are at least two pairs, right? One pair formed by two integers, another pair formed by another two integers. That means there are at least two pairs. So if there are two pairs, we'll just form the permutation. The permutation could be understood as simplified as frequency minus one times frequency divided by two divided by two and then times eight why do we need to so first okay let's do this one step at a time so what does this one give what does this one give us this is basically a combination of the given numbers say given there are three pairs we'll take two pairs at a time so how many how many options that we can form Right, so if I, if there are four options, we'll, we'll take two at a time. Remember, we always form two tuples, right? So, and every every two pairs, we always have eight permutations, right? So you see here, this is two six three four, either two six or six two. Compared with three four or four six, it's always eight permutations, right? For this example, there are two pairs that formed to the same product, which is ten, and another two pairs that form to the same product that is 20 that is why 8 plus 8 is 16 right so here we'll have times 8 here all right uh, this is the entire idea and the code let me hit run code to see if it's going to work wrong answer output is 24 expected is 8 2 3 4 6 it's this one something is messed up here so let's see uh, we initialize a hash map and then we use this first for loop we'll go through this and we use a, instead of one it should be i plus one so that this way we can always go through instead of one because i keeps in incrementing right it, i could go from one at uh, zero one two three but if j always starts from one instead of i plus one which is the right one the one on the right of i that's going to make duplications right so i believe this should do the job let me hit run code one more time yeah all right accept it now let me submit all right accepted 
68%. Uh, Not too bad. Um, all right, this is the entire idea of this problem and solution. So hopefully it makes sense to you guys. If that is the case, please do me a favor and hit that like button. That's going to help a lot with the YouTube algorithm and I really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and um, as I have accumulated quite a lot of different YouTube videos to talk about lead code problems, data structures, algorithms, DFS, BFS, all sorts of different technical problems to help you better prepare for technical interviews. So hopefully I'll just see you guys in just a few short seconds in my other videos. Thanks very much for watching.